YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella. This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil coming through, guys. Had a brain fart, brain hiccup. Only reason why I said my name frontwards and backwards like that is because it was supposed to be just like how my channel is. Goodfella Neil. Basically, that's me on IG, but in, on Twitter, I end up... Uh, Put my name in reverse because I end up something end up happening to my original account, Goodfella Nail Man. So I end up coming up with Nail Goodfella. So every time I say Goodfella Nail on um you know on YouTube, you know, blah blah blah. Y'all get it. Plus two, I'm just a good fella, man. Not like mob, but excuse me guys. Not like mob, but you know what I mean. Just you know you could be a good fella. So I got a pair of kicks today, guys. Oh, man, where did I get these from? Adidas itself. That whole April deal when you can put in the April code and then get 20 or 30% off, definitely worth it to me. I think, damn, y'all, I've already been walking around in these, though, because y'all know how I like to do it, man. I like to I like to walk around in the kicks so I can give you guys a better review. And, you know, um, I like seeing the kick kicks crispy white or whatever y'all know me man I, I don't beat my kicks or anything but um you know the the bottoms are do got the dirt now but when i first got them it was crispy clean all white but um more into this though this is not like the first review of the stan smith or whatever so that's my kick i got right here and um the color right here i know it get kind of funny um you know obviously it's white and it's lush red and the reason why I'm saying the actual exact red because they got a scarlet and they got a, a varsity red or something like that too. So with my Stan Smith, I end up I suggest going at least a half size down minimum because uh, they do fit kind of big. Uh, I'm gonna just say this: whatever you wear in the Adidas Superstar Two, that's what you should get for the Stan Smith. Um, personally, I like a snug fit. This sneaker is one of them old school sneakers that 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 fit kind of like big and that's from back in the day you know it's kind of like oversized in a way so you know it's definitely essential to get your size uh easily one of the top of uh, 10 sneakers of summer and spring and stuff like that i'm gonna try to get a countdown out for you guys though uh, i might do a small spring one but then do the summer one separate because me i like the way different colors hitting off that stuff you know what i mean so yeah that's how i feel about it but Y'all know how I do, man. If y'all already been on this channel and stuff, uh, I got two of my lights on today. So that's why it's looking like extra bright white. But I'm going to hold this up to the camera so you guys can see the full-blown detail. But um, y'all know what I do, man. I'm going to just go over a brief uh, review, overview of the sneaker as far as the materials and what I think. And then, you know, we could talk a little bit about it afterwards. You know what I mean? Get my two cents. This one shouldn't be too much long, though, because this is like an instant classic. This is a no-brainer. A lot of the original ones, you know, got the green one, but they got so many different colorways now. They got the royal blue, navy blue, everything, man. So they even swapped out the sole on a few of them and actually put boost at the bottom of a few of them or whatever. If you can actually find them, and they had the Velcro one. They just, like, uh, remodified this shoe a lot if you can find those. Um... So, first thing first, uh, just for the people on my channel, um, you got those throwback cotton laces. Um, now, this is not the typical lace that we're used to. This is like that throwback uh, 70s, 80s kind of like based uh, lace. And I think these came out in the 70s or the 80s. Don't quote me on that, guys. I only just looked up a little bit about it. There's not that much information. You know, uh, a lot of... You know, a lot of blogs is real basic or whatever. They just say, oh, yeah, get these Adidas that's coming out. They white and red. Here goes the one foot. And that's basically it. And maybe that's all what people are into. But since I'm more so like the history of a sneaker and the reasons why, you know what I mean? The cultural significance and the difference and the progression or what made them create this stuff. You know, so I I personally like that um, kind of like stuff. But uh, so... Of course, you got the endorsed by Stan Smith. And I always think about the Stan Smith from American Dad, too. I know they made a version with him as well. So, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that. But, yeah, this is face right there in that lush red. Um, 
and then going to the leather right here you got like a tumble leather it's not like super premium but it's good enough that like if you wear this leather long enough it will break in and be nice and plush and in due time with this kind of sneaker fellas um one of the things that really happened with these kind of sneakers especially these older sneakers like this is that this this will actually start the lemonade down here this mid so it actually start yellowing um i welcome the character with flying colors guys i mean it makes the sneaker look more better i like that vintage look um you know long as we just keep the uppers clean i know some people can't stand it you know they want to see that crispy white to each his own but i like that crispy off-white uh eggnog colorway with a clean upper too so it could give it some character man nothing's more better than character on most kicks uh not all not all some of them do look hideous once the characters start coming in i say like something like the concords i know those get like yellow in the mesh part and i know a lot of people they do look kind of you know like they've been pissed on a little bit or somebody spilled lemonade on them but it's quite possible that those can age okay if they start to yellow just a little bit but uh, other than that though like older sneakers like this though look beautiful once they start they look beautiful now with the all white but um you know once they start aging it's gonna really look fly going to the inside though on the insole we do got the lush red as well obviously you guys can see you got a clean tic tac white toe box preparations on the side Obviously, to the back, you got that leather Stan Smith. And that's basically it. Going to the bottom of the sole, you don't have too much traction. Now, I've read up about this as well. And you also got the, it's that embossed or engraved Adidas with the trefoil sign. Now, I've also read up about this being uh, tennis sneakers as well. Probably for the 70s and 80s, obviously looking at these. Uh, because the tech is not that advanced on this one compared to later retros the sneakers like late 80s 90s and stuff like that uh, Going to the inside though. You do got like a leather sock liner um, This is one of those everybody sneakers like the sneaker con like the converse all-star joints um, like the adidas superstar twos uh almost damn near as this sneaker almost about as common as a canvas sneaker so and this is where i feel like uh the jordan one is going to be if they keep pumping out the colorways eventually um it's just going to be that standard uh household name sneaker now everybody already know what the jordan one is now but like with them coming out with all these crazy colorways it's going to get down like this uh you know i don't want to say watery in a bad way but not watered down in a bad way but it's going to be no no but uh not too much else though guys do got the size in the back and uh do got my adidas superstar 2 right here just as for not necessarily a too much of a comparison um because i got these some time ago years ago probably in the early 2010s i bar laced these on my sneaker channel on this channel rather and uh yeah and that's probably one of my this is probably one of my uh most popular videos and me bar lacing had to turn the comments off on that because some people that can't bar lace or they you know they can't do it they you know they get pissed off and start fucking up the you know start messing up the video you know what i mean and they get mad at the you know they get mad at they get, they get mad at me for no reason it's like I'm, I'm teaching them how to do something you know trying to help but anyway as far as comparisons go, as far as the leather quality, the leather quality on the Stan Smith feels better than the Adidas Superstar shell toe joints. These are classic, and as you can see, at one point they were all yellow, and camera's probably looking all yellow, but when you actually see these in person, mine in particular are starting to get off-white. I welcome the color, but the only thing about this, I actually got these in a size 10 instead of a size 9, so I don't know, guys. Might be up on the chopping block soon. I like the sneaker, it's just that sometimes it's just a it fits a little too too boxy long like you know because uh, this is an older sneaker with like that old mold from like the, i think the 80s that whole run dmc i honestly think about with this so um so yeah too so these sneakers are damn near the same 
but as far as like weight and everything this is a little bit more lighter and this is a little bit more heavier obviously i think people actually used to hoop in these and these obviously with these being tennis sneakers it's a little bit more light footed um you can almost run in them and as far as comfort guys before i get up out of here the comfort on these are actually pretty decent uh, straight out the box i'll probably give them uh about ooh, seven and a half to an eight I know, right? Kind of high for an older sneaker, um, but they did pump the tech up on this or, you know, the quality in this is definitely there as far as cushion. I don't really too much have the aches and pains or anything walking around in this. I've only walked in these for maybe like a few days, uh, but the break-in time, I think once they break in, they're going to get a lot more comfortable and get more molded to the foot. Um, as far as uh, rating I give these two, just overall rating as far as like being classic, 10 being like the highest and one being the lowest, out of 10 I'll give these, because I, I think I'm gonna like them even more in time once they break in. Out of 10 I give them a solid, a solid nine. This is one of them sneakers that you can actually wear with a little bit of everything. Dressing up, dressing down, whatever, whatever. Even shorts if you wanna go that route. Uh, you know, this is one of everybody kind of like sneakers again. Like I said, you could wear some prep clothing and still pull these off. It's not like a big, chunky, boxy sneaker, obviously, you guys can see. But this lower cut, this more low, subtle cut, a place that doesn't even really too much allow like sneakers all like that. Uh, like as far as like a corporate environment. Now, I'm not talking about suits or everything, but I'm saying like more so like a casual environment. You don't want to, you know, you probably don't want to wear the high tops or nothing like that, but these are more subtle and more like low key. Um, so expect to see these on like one of my lists soon, but, uh, definitely worth it for the dollars. You know, you can always get these for a little less than $60, $50, $40, sometimes 30. If you can find a deal, these too much never go over like a hundred unless it's something special in them or something. Um, but, uh, yeah. So again, you could wear this low, you know, low key prep, uh, casual. I know the pole prep thing not in right now, but, uh, if you dress up for work for those people that are still going to work around this time, um, you know, and you're allowed to actually wear casual clothing or whatever, this is definitely be a nice pickup. Comfort level is there. You won't have to kick these joints off. You, you know, in case you got to walk around the office, not the biggest deal. You can go to the water cooler all that and come right back and everything will be fine man you won't be in pain um so i remember i wore some matumbos uh one time uh when i was working a corporate at one point now i didn't get in trouble or anything but uh when wearing a sneaker like this versus a matumbo you know you know that sneaker is a big you know it's a high top that you know that's heavy rather i'm gonna just say that it's more so heavy so tell me what you guys think all day classic the classics are still out there fellas you can still finesse a deal finesse a fit all that stuff guys different colorways so don't just subject yourself to only just one you might want to pick up multiple pairs uh regular people that's not sneaker heads also like these as well um definitely a nice pick pair of clean kicks you know just go up there with vans uh converses adidas superstars those timeless older kicks that's just really not gonna go nowhere because they're already staples in regular people uh footwear uh in their closets and stuff like that so enough of my rambling guys rate comment and subscribe i like to thank everybody's been watching my videos and even watching this to the end rate comment and subscribe i'm out peace